At Parade Stadium, the boards are up and the cameras ready. Hockey Day Minnesota is about to take Minneapolis, quite literally, by storm. It's old school, you know, it's old school, true Minnesota hockey. And it's not outdoor hockey without a little snow on the ice. So to keep the rink cleared for skaters, they ordered a lot of shovels and an army of volunteers. So we did a big recruitment and we offered um, free tickets to either Hockey Day Minnesota or the Wild Game for 40 people to come all night long for four to six hour shifts shoveling. Meantime, outside of Maynard's and Excelsior, organizers of the North American Pond Hockey Championship are faced with 13 times the trouble. That's how many rinks are playing host to 70 teams. We bought extra shovels and uh, yeah, well, it's pond hockey, you know, it's, we've got to braid the elements, we take what we get and play hockey, right? Now in its eighth year, the event has its own Zamboni to resurface the ice. Organizers say they'd rather have snow than the warm conditions that canceled past events. Uh, we'll see how it goes tomorrow. We're supposed to have some high winds and blowing snow, but We'll see how it goes. And should it get too bad, they can always put away the pucks and switch to balls. That's okay for pond hockey, but the real game will place faith in its army of shovelers. So we're going to stay on top of it all night long in Minnesota hockey spirit. After all, playing in the elements is what the outdoor game is all about. Bill Hudson, WCCO, 4 News. And tonight at 7, the NHL alumni take to the ice at Parade Stadium. Meanwhile, out in Excelsior, pond hockey games resume Saturday morning on the ice rinks outside of Maynard's.